The limit of the product can be expressed as the product of the limits. So this can be written as limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 times the limit of e raised to x minus 1 over x as x approaches 0. Okay, hi everyone. In this video, we will have some special limits. So we have the limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0. So we will, we will investigate the values of sine x over x as x approaches 0 from the left and from the right. So we will have from the left of x equals 0. So we have x and uh, sine x over x. So let us have values from the left of 0. So if you have uh, values on the number line and 0 is here, so from the left of 0, let's say here is negative 1. Uh, the values that we can have may be uh, 0. Point or negative 0 0.1, negative 0 0.01, negative 0 0.001. And if we use our, cal our calculator, sine of negative 0 0.1 over x is equal to um, 0 0.998. So if you are using a calculator, you have to make sure that uh, it is in radian mode. Okay, radians. So uh, maybe the default of your calculator is in degrees, so you have to set it in radians. So let's proceed. What if x is negative 0 0.01? So use your calculator to get, or you put there, sine of negative 0 0.01 divided by negative 0 0.01, you will have 0 0.99998 and then if you put in this value you will have 0 0.9999998 so if you observe the values it's 0 0.998 0 0.99998 and this one it approaches the value 1 so we can say that the limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 from the left is equal to 1. Okay, we will do the same for values of uh, x uh, that approach 0 from the right. So if we approach 0 from the right, the values that we're going to have can be... Uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.001, so let's have that. So from the right of x equals 0. So if you will look at that, if 0 is here going there, you can have uh, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. And identify values of sine x over x make sure that your calculator is in radian mode so if you put there sine 0.1 divided by 0.1 you will get uh, same 0 0.998 if you use your calculator to put there and put there sine of 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.01 you will have 0 0.99 998 and here you will have 0 0.9999998 and we have the same values so uh, if you will look at the pattern it will approach to the value 1 so that we can say that the limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 from the right is equal to 1 
And since these two are equal, then we say that the limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 equals 1. So that's our first special limit. So limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 is 1. How about this one? Limit of 1 minus cosine x over x as x approaches 0. So we have to look at the values of x from the left of 0 and from the right of 0. So we can just uh, replace this one and we will find these values. And same here. Oh, I should have used it. And this, erase, and this. So we will have this time 1 minus cosine x over x. So you can put there in your calculator parenthesis 1 minus cosine open parenthesis negative 0 0.1 close parenthesis, close, divided by negative 0 0.1 equals. So what appears there? It should be 0 0.05. And then if you will replace this with 0 0.01, 0 0.01, you will have 0 0.005. And then again, you have to make sure that your calculator is in radian mode. How about if this is zero point, you add another zero. Zero point, a negative 0 0.001, you will have 0 0.0005. And what do you observe? It goes to the value zero. So it, if it goes to zero, the y values here, then we can say that the limit of 1 minus cosine x over x as x approaches 0 from the left is 0. So if we solve for 1 minus cosine x over x, then you will have here, you, uh, you have to use your calculator. So you will have 0 0.05, 0 0.005, 0 0.0005, and as what you can see, the values go to 0. So the limit of 1 minus cosine x as over x as x approaches 0 from the right is 0. So this is also 0, and you have to memorize this. Because later on, these special limits will be used to derive the formulas for the derivatives of uh, the trigonometric functions and this one for the exponential function for the derivative of the exponential function okay let us now move to the last one Okay, let us have from the left. So we have x and e raised to x minus 1 over x. So uh, let us use the same values. Uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. Oh, from the left should, should be less than 0. So if... Uh, x is negative 0.1 you can put in your calculator there e and then this symbol raised to uh, negative 0.01 oh, you have to put parenthesis here minus 1 then close parenthesis divided by uh, negative 0.1 and then equals if you can find this symbol in your calculator uh, you can check there the x raised to y. This one is for exponent. Okay? So if uh, that's the case, then you will get a 0 0.95. And then if you will change this to, oh, 
Oh, for the first one, you have to use negative 0 0.1. For the second one, you have to use 0, negative 0 0.01. And, for, and you will get 0 0.995. And for the third one, you will use this. So you have two zeros there. And you will get 0 0.9995. So if, if you observe the values of y as you make x closer to 0 from the left, the values of y, 0 0.95, 0 0.995, it goes to positive 1. So we can say that the limit of e raised to x minus 1 over x as x approaches 0 from the left is 1. How about if we are from the right? You know, x and e raised to x minus 1 over x, so 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0, 0, 1. And then solve for y, if you will put on your calculator, this is going to be 1.05, and then 1.005, and then 1.0005. And then if you observe these values, they approach also 1. So the limit of e raised to x minus 1 over x as x approaches 0 from the right is also 1. And since these two one-sided limits are both equal to 1, then this two-sided limit is also equal to 1. So you have to remember these uh, three uh, special limits. Okay, let us have more examples. Okay, so uh, if uh, some uh, functions look like this, uh, this, this, and this, the answer will also be equal to 1 by looking at the uh, table of values. Say, for example, you have... Uh, sine or limit of a sine 2x over 2x as x approaches 0. They look the same. Instead of x, it's just 2x. So this is also equal to 1. A limit of sine uh, x minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. So as what you can see, instead of x, it's uh, x minus 1. Instead of x, it's x minus 1. But this time, as x approaches 1, because uh, uh, it, it should be x approaching the value that will make the denominator 0 and this part here 0. So x minus 1 will go to 0 if x approaches 1. So this is also equal to 1. And the limit, for example, of a sine... 2x plus 3 over 2x plus 3 as x approaches negative 3 halves is also 1. So that is by this uh, special limit because they will uh, have uh, the same pattern. And then if you have limit of 1 minus cosine 3x over 3x as x approaches 0 since they look like that, it is also equal to 0, limit of 1 minus cosine x minus 2 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2, that is also 0. And then the limit of 1 minus cosine um, 2x minus 1 over 2x minus 1 as x approaches 1 half, this is also equal to 0. And then, if you have something like this, the answer will also be equal to 1. For example, you have a limit of e raised to 3x minus 1 over 3x as x approaches 0, 
So instead of x, it's 3x. So this is also equal to 1. And then limit of e raised to x plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. This is also equal to 1. And then lastly, we have a limit of... Um, 4x plus 5, I mean e raised to 4x plus 5 over 4x plus 5 as x approaches negative 5 fourths is also 1. Okay, let us have uh, a few more examples. What if we have a limit of uh, 4 sine x over x as x approaches 0? So applying the limit theorem, we can put this 4 here outside. Okay, so we can have 4 times the limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0. And this one is... 1. So this is going to be 4 times 1, and that is 4. How about the limit of um, sine x times e raised to x minus 1 over x squared as x approaches 0? So, x squared can be written as x times x. And we can separate these two by applying the limit theorem. The limit of the product can be expressed as the product of the limits. So, this can be written as limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 times the limit of e raised to x minus 1 over x as x approaches 0. And this one is 1. And this one is also 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. So that is uh, how we use the special limits. This, uh, there are three special limits. So you have to remember, you have to memorize this so that later on uh, you can derive the formulas for the derivatives of the sine, the cosine, and the exponential function. So for now, that's it for some special limits. I hope that you learned. So please uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe. Thank you for watching.